Mary and Darnley's relationship began to disintegrate after the chase about raids. Darnley's womanising was out of control. He was grabbing pussies left, right and centre, drinking himself into oblivion. His behaviour became so erratic he couldn't even recognise when he was at a work event or a party. He refused to attend meetings of the Privy Council and a stamp of his signature had to be made for signing official documents and oven-ready deals that he hadn't actually bothered to read. But like most Tories... Darnley still thought that he was above the law and he considered himself to be Mary's superior and he took it upon himself to spearhead a Catholic restoration in Scotland. His thinking being he was an alcoholic sexual deviant, surely the Catholic Church was going to love him. And so while Darnley promised to make Mass great again, he chastised Mary for the religious compromises she had made in Scotland and in response, Mary hinted that at the next meeting of the Scottish Parliament, she would reintroduce public Mass in Scotland. So what this meant was, at the next meeting of the Scottish Parliament, Murray and the Protestant lords of the chase about raids faced a forfeiture of their land and titles, while at the same time mass was going to be reintroduced into Scotland. The only way that this could be a worse one-off single event for Protestant supporters would be if they were forced to drink toilet water while they were attending. Now, Darnley was quite clearly the last person in the world who should be a political leader. And unlike nowadays... That was considered quite important back then. And so Mary withheld from Darnley the crown matrimonial. What this meant was Darnley was king in name only. He didn't have any actual real power without the crown matrimonial. It's a bit like being leader of the Scottish Conservative Party. Like, I, I mean, technically you are leader, but leader of what? You don't have any actual real power. You can't actually do anything in Scotland. Now, only the Parliament could grant Darnley the crown matrimonial. And so Darnley started to plot against Mary. And he reached out to the very man who had just launched a rebellion against him, Murray and the Lords of the Chase About Raids. And a deal was struck. Darnley would swap sides, he'd become Protestant again, he would stop Murray and his allies from having their lands and titles forfeited, and in exchange, they would vote to grant him the crown matrimonial.